Hey, I hope you're having fun with your get response tool. You're you're sending auto responders. You're creating lists. You're sending newsletters. You're creating RSS to email, and you, I hope you're done with your landing page as well. And right now, it's time to learn how to create forms. All right. So you go to the menu. We have already looked into email marketing, auto responders, and you can find the forms and surveys over here. So let's go and see what are the forms and surveys. Okay. So here you'll find four options. You can create a form from a list builder wizard, which is nothing but again preloaded templates. That's why I love uh, Get Response. They'll give you everything in your hand, and you just have to go and make a few changes, and you're you're just uh, set. Okay. So this is a list builder wizard, and if you want to select form type, uh, you can uh, uh, you know uh, select from your um, the kind of forms that you want to create. So if, if it's newsletter sign up, free course sign up. Uh, Facebook, even sign up, whatever you want to, and select format also. So if you want to put it on the left side of your, um, I'm just going to show you. If you want this particular kind of uh, setup, uh, then you might want to go and do a side column one. You can do a wide, wider, max, square, uh, whatever size that you want to get it uh, embedded on your um, website, right? Now getting back, so this was all about list builder wizard, which is nothing but preloaded templates. Here the best option is color magic. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what color magic it's is. All right, so you have to type your website uh, URL. What it really does is uh, the engine, the AI will do all the uh, magic here, and they're gonna pick up the colors of your uh, website. They're gonna pick up the theme. They're gonna pick up the colors, and then they're going to generate. So uh, they're going to generate the templates around that particular color. So you don't even you don't even have to worry. Uh, you know to change the colors to according to your uh, websites. So here I have put uh, sorofjane.com. I'm gonna go and just search for templates, and it's gonna show me templates uh, with sorofjane's uh, website uh, templates. So uh, this is what is loaded here. So the colors here and all will change according. See, everywhere it's blue color, and I think it's syncing with the, it's it's syncing with the, uh, you know, the color of the uh, tool over here. So it just matches with that. If you've seen everywhere, it's just the blue button and it's automatically generated. So it makes your life easier. All right. So I'm just going to disable right now. Next is list builder apps. So if you want to create a download box, if you want to do a fixed bar, I think we will do this uh, step by step uh, in the coming uh, videos lessons. Uh, if you if you're interested in creating your own uh, uh, form using your HTML or CSS uh, coding, then this is the place to go. And other integrations are your Facebook web app form app. If you want to create, if you want to integrate it with the WordPress, this is where you do all that integrations, right? So I'm just gonna select one template and I'm gonna see how it works. So very simple. Uh, they have a two-page format. You create the form and then uh, once you submit the form, it's gonna lead you to the thank you page. So here you can create a form. Here is the thank you page. Yeah, you can make changes here accordingly. Right. One of the important aspect uh, when I was teaching you landing page, I told you you can create variants. This is how you can create a variant as well over here. Okay. Uh, here it says ready to be a member. I might say ready to be a VIP member. Okay. So I, I want to make changes here and let's say, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's say I make changes over here. All right. Um, join us for free. Increase the size, right? So this is how it is done, guys. So this I will create a VIP member as well. So if you notice, the variant B has VIP as an extra word here. There's no VIP member. So we might see which form is converting better. Okay. Uh, just to give you more perspective, I'll show you another uh, example here. Okay, so yeah, you create the variants over here. Uh, this is how it is. So the best part is you can increase or decrease the size as well. So let's say for Saurav Jain's uh, this one, the size required was 280px. So I might want to, uh, you know, make changes according to this. So the width was 280px. Now let's say, uh, yeah, this is a bigger size. So I can just increase the size. Uh, I can see the width. I can see the height over here and make changes according to that. So whatever you require, you can make changes directly here, uh, uh, you know and then just go about it okay um, i was showing you another example so we'll just wait for this to load and i'm gonna get started again so with the forms right 
right so uh yeah this form i was uh, i was talking to you about the variation the ab split test that you can create so in this regard if you notice i've created three i've created three variants variant one which is free live webinar how to become a digital consultant okay register now uh free live webinar how to become an instagram influencer free live webinar how to become an instagram influencer on tuesday 3 3 2020 so this is the three variants I've created a block FVC. So I've, I've made few changes I've, I've made uh, for the call to action and everything. And this is how you create variants here. Okay. And apart from that, you can add uh, more uh, fields over here. So if you notice, you can just uh, pull up. Uh, there's no phone number here. So I want to add a phone number. I can just, you know, just select from here, drag and drop. Okay. There's no space. So it's not loading again. I'm going to do it. Drag and drop. I'm ready now right as simple as that okay very simple stuff so here you can do that if you want to make changes you go to style you can increase the size you can decrease the size line height font alignment i really leave it up to you it's it's just very simple stuff so yeah this is how you do it and so pretty much that's it so if you want to add images you can still do add images you can uh, put a pull up a divider over here and you know try to create a difference between uh, these two so yeah it's created it's black in color it cannot be seen right now so all that can be done you can add a text you can add a counter which is extremely nice so if your webinar is starting at 9 and if somebody uh, gets on your website say 7 in the morning you can say a webinar starts in 12 hours you can create a sense of urgency here as well uh, you can show privacy batches here you can create boxes and a lot of options here right so this is how you create your forms and then you go to thank you page uh, whatever changes you want to put here you can do it uh, there's a download option as well yeah so let's say uh, what you can do here is if you have an ebook uh, let's say you have an ebook and you say just sign up uh, to get my ebook okay and here you can put up a download option right and this download you can and then try to attach a uh, obviously you can attach the PDF file over here and this is how uh, uh, you know the entire aspect can be done about it so download URL is here okay so whatever your PDF is you can host it on the website and you can just make them download so this is how you can do the uh, download option over here so amazing stuff very simple DIY stuff I have taken you through the sim I have taken you through the simple processes uh, whatever you want to do you can just you can th these are the base of it you can just go ahead and uh, you know make changes according to the needs according to your needs right so this is where you will save if you want you can uh, do the preview button you can just go uh, and you know just go ahead and uh, do the publish button so what happens is it's gonna give you a javascript code yeah you copy it here uh, if you don't want to do it you can send it to your web designer directly from here and ask him to hey uh, say it hey please uh, uh, you know um, uh, add this code into the uh, header file or global header or wherever you want it to be and just go ahead and uh, you know make this form work for you so in the next video we will learn how to install this particular javascript code in the wordpress uh, website okay so in next video is all about you know publishing this particular code into your next website so i hope uh, you have learned about forms it's extremely crucial guys uh, and very important as well i'll show you one example right here all right so uh, we were creating a form for sort of jeans instagram influencer webinar all right and uh, and i tried to integrate a form here you can see there were about 346 visits and i've just uploaded this morning all right it's just been four hours so there are 346 views visits but no none of them have been converted here that means none of people didn't uh, look into it okay see this is where if, if somebody's on the home page they're going to look it at the bottom here so not lot not, not a lot of people are uh, you know uh, uh, putting their eyes on it and they're not able to fill the detail so what i did was i i did another uh, form which is a sign up form so the moment somebody comes to the sort of james website and within three seconds this particular form loads up okay so if you see eight people have seen this one has filled the contact he's ready to attend the webinar okay i'm sure this number is going to increase multifolds uh, as the time passes on, I'm just I've just created this morning uh, this one. So I hope uh, you know uh, this is how uh, it is done. And yes, so this is it. And you can link it to the list as well. So uh, I'm not able to see the link option over here, but uh, this is how you link. Uh, you know you can link it to the uh, 
a list that you want to create so the moment they sign up you can send them auto responder emails as well so such an awesome powerful tool i hope uh, you you integrate in your website and try to collect more leads and you know try to send auto responder emails to them right then and there right thank you so much i will see you in my next video